Hey, Pat. Been on a trip to Alaska recently? <laughs> I have. Sweet. So, what, what countries have you fished? Are you just going to ask me that out? The blue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just mm -hmm. about all of them. Let's go through the alphabet. Argentina, Bahamas, Belize, Cook Islands, Chile, Belize, you already say that? Canada, Mongolia, Kiribati, French Polynesia, a lot of them. Mexico, Turks and Caicos. I'd have to look. Just returned from a exploratory trip on Kodiak Island for wild steelhead. I had fished this river probably 30 years ago and getting the chance to go back and see uh, what it was like now. Very exciting for us. I was able to score the Squala RS jacket and its RS waiter. And this is a integrated waiting system. The jacket and the waiters are designed in unison to work well with each other. So this trip was for three of us, uh, two good friends and clients of mine who were in good shape fully vetted before the trip. Met in Seattle, flew on to Anchorage and took an Alaska Airlines flight over to Kodiak. The following morning, we were on weather hold until the air taxi gave us the thumbs up to fly to a lake in southwest Kodiak. There, we were met by our outfitter and had to set up a spike camp. We were in pretty much four season expedition type tents, Arctic ovens and Hilleberg tents. We got a uh, electric fence set up around our camp, 5,000 volt electric fence to keep the bears out. And each day we would get up in the morning to have breakfast and hike down to the river and fish uh, a full day. Like I said, hiking as much as three to four hours a day in difficult terrain. Fishing was awesome. It, the river was as special as I remember it 30 years ago. We were the only ones on the river. The outfitter is the only license holder in the Kodiak National Wildlife Refuge. We didn't see a soul all week. There was no one low hole in us or we didn't have to rush to the river in the morning. Amazing water, everything from long classic runs, a beautiful boulder filled riffles and runs. We were swinging the whole week off of seven weight spay rods, medium sized steelhead streamers, and we were averaging one to four fish a day. I was really pumped about the gear that I was able to test for a week on Kodiak. This was a hardcore, not easy camping trip on Kodiak Island. We walked three to four hours a day minimum, hiking and difficult terrain and tundra, bear trails through alder, you know, groves up and down tundra hummocks. It was a real test for gear. The Squala gear performed great. This is the first set of waders I've ever had with a zipper in them. I was a little leery about that. I kind of have that mentality is roofs shouldn't be flat and waders shouldn't have zippers. But by the end of the week, I love these waders. And when nature calls, it was quick and easy, and then I didn't have to totally disrobe in some pretty severe weather on Kodiak. Well, the RS jacket from Squala and their RS zip waiter, which again are built in tandem. I mean, they're designed to fit and work well with each other. I fished every waiter and jacket in the last 30 years you could imagine, and I love this RS jacket. It's probably the biggest surprise of both the waders and the 
bigger surprise than the waiters. Super well thought out jacket. It just blew me away. First was just the way they designed the hood and the zip up collar. The hood is mounted low on the jacket, so you're able to zipper up the collar all the way up. And we had, you know, rain and wind and swivel your head and move it very easily within the hood. What was interesting too is that you could take and put on the hood with one hand, which was really nice. So we had squalls coming through most of the day. So one minute your hood's up and it's just pouring rain and, and then the next the squall blows through and the next minute you could just take your hood off. It had good peripheral vision, which was key on Kodiak because we were fishing in bear country. So I always like to look around me and not have something sneaking up on behind me. So that was really key. The jacket too was long enough. I'm six foot two, so it was long enough that it covered well when I wasn't in waders which was nice around camp. The jacket features a, a double cuff, so an interior elastic rubber cuff with a Velcro cinch that you could cinch down on your wrist, and then an outer cuff that you could also cinch down on your wrist, and virtually you could put your hand in the water, you know, land in a fish or whatever, and not get a wet sleeve. It's got two breast pockets that are easily accessible with waterproof zippers. It's got two hand warmer pockets that are fleece lined, also fashioned with waterproof zippers. And unique to this jacket is it has two side zippers that function in two ways. First off, since we were hiking three to four hours a day, you'd get warm when you're walking until you stop. So you could unzip those side zippers and, and vent the jacket in addition to the front zipper. That was really key. Additionally, those side zippers allow you access to the fleece line zippers in the RS waiter, which allows you to put your hands into your waiter hand warmer pockets and get some body heat if your hands were cold. Really, really well thought off jacket, thought out jackets, bomber, heavy duty, love the front zipper, easy to unzip or zip up with one hand like the color as well. I think the kind of the royal blue color is really nice. And uh, I was really impressed with it. I've had, I've worn, like I said, every rain jacket out there from every major manufacturer and this one blew me away. It is definitely not going back to Squala. Uh, it's in my closet for the next trip. This is the first time I've ever had a zip waiter. It's a little leery about it, but I said, all right, I'll go for it. And to take it on a trip of this magnitude where I knew we were gonna be roughing it and tent camping and hiking and in the elements for a full week on Kodiak Island, which has some pretty severe weather, the waders were awesome. Foremost, first time I put them on is I noticed they were cut so nicely. They were shaped. They had an articulated knee, which made kneeling or bending down or sitting really easy as well as hiking and all the seams the the leg seams on the waders were away from the inside where any chafing or where it could happen which i thought was really really smart the waders the front zipper is a bomber ykk is a waterproof zipper with a giant t handle on it so it's super easy to grab there's no, nothing for your running line or fly line to catch on which i thought was really smart Another really cool feature of this waiter was is they, they built an integrated lumbar or lower back support into the waiter. And it felt great on your lower back when you're hiking or, you know, just when you're waiting and spay casting and fishing for, you know, hours at a time. My lower back gets a little tweaky sometimes. Just a really well-built waiter. The jacket and the waiter is designed for maximum layering. So if you want to put it, you know, long johns on a fleece and a puffy had plenty of room. You didn't feel constricted. You know, I think for someone who's looking for some really um, innovative, well-designed, well-executed, hardcore waiting system, I'd highly recommend these. The RS uh, waiting system by Squala.